So that's the Mountain Road, a great tune, uh, a Sligo tune, a Tubber Curry tune in actual fact, uh, that I learned many years ago from my mother. Um, it's a tune that is not only popular in Sligo, but in all over the country and worldwide in fact. So uh, the story goes that um, Michael Gorman and a friend of his were involved with the making of Putching up around Curry or Ballon Curry. And um, in order to avoid the, the attention of the guards on this particular day, um, Michael decided he was going to cut across country uh, down through my lap and uh, essentially come into Turber Curry a different route, um, bypassing the, the guard the barracks. So on his way down the road uh, that day, he had a moment of inspiration and he composed uh, this tune in his head and he called it after the route that he had just travelled on, which was the mountain road. I, I think it, it suits the really old uh, Sligo style, what I would regard as the Sligo style of fiddle playing, because there's a lot of what I would call crossbowing in it. Um, and f for example, in the first half, it would go. That kind of effect from uh, crossing over from string to string. And, uh, you know, my memory of Fred Finn from many years ago, he played a lot of tunes like that that he learned from his father, Mick Finn. I spent quite a number of years on the, on the Mountain Road in National School, as it so happened. And, uh, I mean, South Sligo is such a beautiful place. Uh, everybody talks about North Sligo all the time. But, uh, you know, the, the mystical mountain of Nachnashi and uh, the beautiful lake at uh, Loch Talt uh, and the, the rugged terrain uh, of, of the Ox Mountains, which, you know, thankfully there's, you know, numerous trails for walking through. Like, these were all places that would have inspired artists, be they poets or, or musicians. I'm going to play the mountain road now. Uh, a lot of people mightn't realise this, but there are six parts in this tune but uh, I'm just going to play you two. Mm -hmm. 